Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon here and we have another episode of My Hero Academia to watch. Uh, moving on to the 10th episode now of Season 2, um, which is almost halfway. I I'm getting there slowly but surely. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, I have been very busy recently. Uh, there's a lot of shows that I'm actually watching now. Um, I've brought back Code Geass, um, which I'm almost finished with the second season. Hunter Hunter is also back, and I started The Dragon Prince as well um, over the weekend, which the first episode was pretty good. If you haven't seen that, um, go check it out. Uh, so, yes, but this is My Hero Academia. Last time out, we had the fight with Oroka and um, Kai-chan. Uh, it was a really good fight. It was far more competitive than I imagined it would be. Um, you know, Oroka gave a hell of a uh, showing um, and she proved that you know again she's smart she can think on her feet and um, you know she is powerful but unfortunately um, as powerful as she is Kai Chan is just he is better um, there's no doubt about it he is very very powerful and the fight took a lot out of both of them you know he really had to go to his extremes to to beat her um, and you know it's just a very entertaining matchup lasted far longer than I expected and um, you know I think that Uraka can hold her head high and, and you know she put on a good showing um, she's definitely going to have caught the attention of some of the scouts and some of the other pros so I can only see you know sort of bright things for her in the future um, off the sort of battlefield we saw um, we saw uh, Deku have an encounter with uh, Endeavor um, Todoroki's father and you know, it could have very easily been one of those things, you know, which Endeavor was just trying to say, you know, don't go easy out there. Don't disrespect, you know, my son. Give him everything you've got. Um, and then sort of, I was expecting Deku just to kind of like shy away and just, you know, be Deku. But he turned around and he actually, you know, gave a piece of his own mind to, to Todoroki's father, which was really cool to see. You know, it shows you that he's growing in confidence he's not afraid to stand up for his friends and you know he understands a lot more now about Todoroki and his past and um you know he's not letting that kind of sullen um kind of almost jealous attitude that Todoroki can have um you know sort of get in the way of friendship um, which is nice to see so it looks like we're gonna be getting that battle this episode and it's gonna be awesome and I don't know who's gonna come out on top um I, I imagine that Todoroki is going to come out on top. Um, it's going to be weird seeing Deku lose because, you know, he has found his way out of so many situations in the past. Um, but I just can't see them for the sake of Todoroki. I can't see them letting Deku win this because he's still too inexperienced and he still doesn't have a full grasp on his power. So we'll have to see anyway. So without further ado, let's jump into it and watch the episode. But honey... You do still want to be a hero, don't you? Is this his mother? Just remember. The one who poured boiling water yourself. on his face? Stay true to yourself. I have forgotten. So I'm just going to throw this in those days. boiling water on your face. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yeah, ice. Flick. Whoa. Okay. Holy crap. It's a good thing he put up that ice wall, otherwise he'd have got blown way out the arena. However. Just gonna do it again. Ah, oh, he's gonna break every single finger, isn't he? I don't know much about Todoroki's fighting style. The best thing is to keep moving. Keep keep moving. So I was right to break my fingers. Oh. I spent my whole arm on a full-powered smash and yeah. held up. I'd be doomed. But would his ice hold up under a full-powered smash? You know? Come on. Thanks, man. Looks like I take down Bakugo next. Oh, Kirishima you. against Bakugo? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a tough match. You and Todoroki both have moves that blast the whole stadium. Ah! Oh, no. That's a frozen no. foot. You need to punch. Yeah, punch. Urgh. Holy crap. Oh, there's no way. 
That ice wall is holding up. Come on. Oh, is he using up too much power? He's freezing himself. Oh crap, what are you gonna do? Nope. What? What did he just, did he just use his hand again? Oh my god, that was so close. Yeah. There's a limit to the cold your body can take, right? He's got one more hand to punch with. Usually you'd make up for the drop in temperature by using the heat from your left side. But you refuse to do that now. Oh. He's freezing himself. Listen. Look at me, Todoroki. He's using all you of his strength. to put a single scratch on me yet. Oh. So come at me with all I love this speech. Now I'm mad. Oh shit. But he's slower. Yeah. Because he's got so much frost on his body. Maybe his quirk is like a magic meter in a video game. I like this. He's coming. Yeah. Imagine the egg in the microwave. Egg in the microwave is going to explode. Uh oh. Oh my god. That. Oh my god. That that should have that should have done some serious damage. Even though Midoriya looks way more beat up at this point. Oh god. Just seeing it go from like a reddish color to a purple color is horrible. Should I step in midnight? Holy crap. He's He's got his other hand. Use your other hand. I know it's. Oh man. Oh my god, he looks like a zombie. He looks like a mindless zombie, you know, just pure aggression. Oh! <laughs> that is. A super inventive way to use your thumb. Why are you putting yourself through this? Whatever it takes to be a hero. Shoto. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that so moment. I'll give it my all, just like you should be. Yeah. But you don't have the right to be number one if you aren't going to use your full power. Yeah, it's a bigger picture here. Stand up. If you get hurt that easily, you can forget about beating all my Oh my god, did he just punch a kid? Please stop pushing him. He's only five years old. He can take it. Get out of my way. Oh shit. Okay. He's gonna use it, isn't he? He's gonna use his fire quirk. I'm so confused by his mother. You can be the kind of hero you want to He's gonna use that fire quirk, isn't he? I'm going to win this! Oh my god! How many of those punches can he take? And Shoto, that child's left side sometimes looks unbearable. All I can see is his father. That's not good. That's a boiling kettle. Oh no. Oh, she hurt my masterpiece, so I put her in a hospital to keep you safe. Holy crap. That was your fault. Uh. You're the one who made her hurt me. That is messed up. You. It's okay to use your power to become who you want to be. Yes. <laughs> you I saw it, Deku. I never use my left side. Incredible. Don't tell me you were trying to save young Todoroki this whole time. Yeah. He's being a hero. Holy crap. I'll be a hero. 
<laughs> someone, someone take him out. Please tell me he's going to attack him. Yeah, he is. Don't blame me for what happens next. Holy crap. He's finally gonna use his legs. Yes. That's it, the guy. One of them could be killed. They use it to leap at him. Ah! Uh -huh. What's going on? Oh my god. That's not going to be enough to stop him. Whoa! Audience member's going to get killed. I think they're both down. No, someone's still standing. Deku! Ah, uh, is he going to keep standing? No. I mean, to be fair, he's got a broken leg, so... Is out of After all that. He lost, but... Wins. Man, what a fight. Oh, he is ripped. Okay, so... That was a hell of a ride. That was emotional it was action-packed it was intense i mean literally every bit of emotion you could ask for it was sad at times it was enthralling it was exciting i just oh it was such a well-paced episode and, and the way they built up to it was fantastic you know and intersecting the the flashbacks and you know the subtle meanings behind everything was just absolutely amazing um you know the result of the fight went exactly as I thought. I thought Todoroki would win. Um, Deku would give a great showing of himself. I just wasn't expecting it to be that intense. I mean, both of those kids just gave it their all. And, you know, if that... I mean, that should be as good as winning a tournament in my eyes. That fight that they put on, you can't say that either of them lost. You would say that both of them won massively. You know, because if I'm watching that as a pro, I'm thinking, Jesus, just on determination alone from these two, you know, you would want to take these on, the, these these students on as, as like, you know, sidekicks or, you know, you'd want to recruit them, you know? Um, so let's try and break down what, what exactly happened there and some of the subtle uh, meanings behind, you know, um, what was going on. There was a big focus uh, during this episode on the fact that quirks are physical powers and so therefore no matter who you are you only have a certain amount of stamina and a certain amount of energy that you can expend and use before you know you just simply can't go anymore um and i, I love the fact that you know we had kai chan in the stands explaining that you know because everyone thinks that oh having these these powers that are so destructive must be great because it must be so easy um, you know, and he specifically says it's not easy. You know, it may look easy, but it, this takes effort. It takes, you know, stamina. It takes all kinds of focus to, to keep going. And, and you get pushed right to the edge and there is a limit. Um, and I love the fact that in this episode, Deku was the complete opposite of that. He was showing that, you know, for, for the first part of the episode anyway, he was going beyond that and saying... You know, yes, there is a limit, but I'm pushing beyond that. You know, I will do whatever I need to do to to win this fight. And, you know, for me in this episode, Deku showed what it was to be a true hero. You know, whilst he wanted to win, his biggest concern was helping his friend. Um, and rightly so, you know, he was more concerned with helping um, Todoroki become a better hero and a better person. By, you know, showing him what it means to be a hero. It means that using all of your power to help. You know, if Todoroki's going to go through life not using the full amount of his power, then that's going to lead to disaster someday because he needs his full power to be the best hero that he can be. And, you know, 
obviously a lot of Todoroki's reasonings behind not using his father's quirk, which is his quirk, as rightly said by Deku, is out of this intense hatred um, for his father. And, you know, whilst that is something that is completely understandable, you know, there's a bigger picture here. You know, they're there to be heroes. They're there to help other people, not to dwell on their past and, you know, harbour, you know, these intense feelings of hatred. And this is where I think Todoroki really got a breakthrough. He realised that he needs to use both sides of himself. He needs to use his full power to be the best that he can be. And that's not in any way, shape or form giving, you know, any kind of um, sort of credit to his father. You know, that's all down to him. And seeing his backstory was so heartbreaking. I mean, from what we've heard so far, it was literally a case of his father trained him to be the best. Obviously, is not a good father. Um, but we hadn't really heard too much about his mother other than she ran away. She scarred him, you know, through the boiling water. Um, but we didn't really hear too much. And I was shocked seeing her flashbacks, how caring she was at, at the beginning. You know, how, how much she obviously loved her son. Um, and, you know, seeing her go through everything that she went through um, from Endeavor, I mean... I think what this episode really showed was the fact that it was Endeavor's abusive nature that, you know, caused her to go the way that she did. She didn't hate um, Todoroki. She didn't hate Shoto. She hated what um, Endeavor was doing and, you know, being so abusive. I mean, he put her in the hospital. That's not what a hero does. He's not a hero, you know? Um... So that was kind of like really heartbreaking to see, you know, what she had gone through and seeing that different side to things, you know, and, and I think that kind of helped Todoroki realize that it wasn't out of a place of malice that his mother left. It was out of, you know, just not being able to do it anymore. And again, people have limits. They can only take so much. Um, So it was a very emotional episode. And, you know, I just the fact that these two bounced off each other and, you know, the the way that Deku helps people and then seeing Todoroki, you know, turn on his fire side was absolutely amazing, you know. And the fact that Deku still managed to hold his own, you know, he withstood the attack and it was just because he'd spent himself that he fell out of bounds, you know. He, he had done everything he could, including finally using his feet, you know. He has feet, he can kick. He can do stuff like that. You know, he doesn't have to rely on his hands and his fists just alone. Um, but, I mean, he is going to have to learn how to control this and stop injuring himself because his determination is going to be his worst enemy when it comes to his physical well-being because, like they said, he's willing to go and permanently injure himself to, to do what he needs to do, and that's not a good thing. You know, you can't be a hero if you're permanently injured. So he needs to really learn to control it without injuring himself. And we've seen him do it, like, spontaneously when under pressure. But he doesn't know how to do it, you know, from his own free will. Um, but that was, I think that was the best episode I've seen so far. That was really, really well done. Um, just the fight on its own would have been amazing without any of the emotional stuff in the background. That just took it to another level, you know. And um, Todoroki advances. Um, Deku gave a good impression of himself, but he's out now, um, which I think is the right decision, you know, because I think, again, they both come out of this looking fantastic. But I really want to see someone kick Endeavor's ass, whether that's Todoroki or Deku. I just want to see someone absolutely take him to, you know, I want to see justice, basically. Um and I don't know who that's going to be the one to deliver that, but he's not a nice person. Um, he's not a hero. But yeah, it looks like we're going to be getting uh, more fights. It's a lot of interesting stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, I don't see anything getting as good as that, at least not in the immediate. Um, but you know what? If we get an episode half as good as that, it's going to be a great episode. So, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Um, I always love reading, like, you know, your thoughts. Um, 
it, it's always good to hear you know people's understanding of certain scenes that maybe i don't pick up on um you know or if you have a different opinion that's always great um so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll uh, i'll see you for the next episode